I suppose the driving force behind uh, their brilliant careers is it's a, an alternate history of Australian literature. It's a, a satire and a celebration of Australian writers and writing over the last 150 years, the good, the bad and the ugly. At the title of, of my book, Their Brilliant Careers, is an obvious uh, pun and homage on Mills Franklin's hugely influential, brilliant novel, My Brilliant Career, um, which has been such a milestone in Australian literature. So when I was writing a book about Australian literature, it seemed only natural to, to use her title. This is an extract from the life of Frederick Stratford, Australia's most notorious plagiarist. In May 1922, Stratford began the second and most audacious period of his literary larceny using his authority as director to order the seizure of all copies of James Joyce's recently published Ulysses that came into the country. Stratford burned every copy of the novel bar one, which he took home and retyped over the next six months, replacing references to Dublin with Sydney and removing vulgar language. In November, he submitted the retitled Odysseus to Allenby and Godwin. Lloyd Allenby found large parts of the novel incomprehensible, but he was still able to recognise its tremendous skill and originality. After some hesitation, he accepted the novel, which was received with equal parts bafflement and acclaim when it was published in March 1923. Odysseus entered a second printing in April, the sales at least partly driven by the fact that it contained lewd passages that Stratford hadn't excised because he was ignorant of the sexual practices Joyce described. With the publication of Odysseus, Stratford became the darling of the Sydney literary scene, a position cemented by the critical and commercial success of A Journey to India, published little more than a year later.